I feel almost bad doing this to this car, but it's enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Hello guys and welcome to this Volks Wizard video, which is the second in a small series of videos where I try and review a car within 10 minutes. Today's car is the Arteon R shooting brake. You did hear right, not the R line. This is a proper pucker, 320 horsepower version that's literally just arrived in the UK. It's got the cutest butt since Kylie and I'm gonna drive it today on Millbrook's challenging hill course. But before we do that, let's have a closer look at the outside and the inside. Okay, let's start off then with some statistics. The RT on R shooting brake costs £52,345. I reckon that's about £10,000 more than the Golf R Estate, which sounds quite a lot. Bearing in mind, they're both MQB-based estate cars with the same 320 horsepower, 2-litre, four-cylinder petrol turbo engine. But you do get a few bits standard on this you don't get on the Golf. So you get leather, you get heated seats, you get a rear view camera, you get DCC as well. Though you do have to pay £1,270 for the IQ headlights, which are standard on the Golf. Moonstone grey, the sort of primer grey is standard, but you can have lapis blue as on this car for £785, or quite a few other metallics for 650 or £395 gets you pure white, or if you want the posh white, Oryx white, that's another £1,075. This car's got the upgraded wheels, so it normally comes with 19-inch Adelaide, which are an option wheel on the GTI, curiously, these are the 20 inch Esterils. It costs £820 more to have the shooting brake over the, the, the normal saloon Arteon, but I think that's money well spent. It's 20 millimetres lower than a normal Arteon, so actually it's probably the first one that sits pretty well. The 20 inch wheels suit it. They could be a little bit further out, but it's pretty well proportioned in this particular spec. So under the bonnet we've got, same as the Golf R, 320 PS, 2 litre four cylinder petrol turbo, 7 speed DSG, it does 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds, that's just 0 0.2 behind the figure for the Golf R, which is pretty impressive considering how much bigger it is. CO2 is 209 grams per kilometre, so not particularly brilliant, and it's got a combined MPG figure of 30.6. At the back we've got the torque vectoring rear diff that was brought in with the Mark 8 Golf R. So, you know, if you're considering an SUV and you actually like driving, this is definitely a car to consider because it's lower and it'll be a lot more dynamic, as we'll find out shortly when we go out on the hill course. Right, let's have a quick look in the boots, because this is what it's all about with these cars. Power tailgate standard. So we've got a boot that's 564 litres or 1557 with the seats down. That's a little bit smaller than the... Saloon Arteon, believe it or not, just a 26 litres smaller, but it's a little bit bigger when you fold the seats down, so there's not an awful lot in it, but then it's not an awful lot difference in price either, and it just look at it. It is stunning. Okay, let's have a look inside. So standard leather with this carbon effect here, blue it embroidered R logos, which looks really expensive. Blue piping there, blue piping on the mats with the R logo. It's very nice, and then this Sort of aluminium trim here goes into the doors. This has got the Harman card and sound system. It's also got a sunroof. So it's a pretty well specced car, this. In here, it's a bit of a mix of the old and the new. It looks very Mark 7.5, which always comes a bit as a bit of a surprise after all the Golfs and Leons I've been driving recently. So we've got a proper gear selector with a leather gator, blue stitching. We've got the old style infotainment screen. We've got this climate control system there, which is going to be more widely accepted than the versions in the Golf. So it's a little bit more traditional in here, but it's it's good. Got the vents up here where you need them. They're a little bit too low on the Golf, so that's, that's a great position. Steering wheel is the Golf R1 with the big paddles, and we've got the R button on the steering wheel there. So yeah, pretty nice, but then at £52,000 starting price, it should be. Now it's time to go and see how the Arteon R drives on Millbrook's famous hill course. So we're in race mode, you've got race and sport modes on this car. Race is probably a bit much for the road, but a big car like this needs all the help it can get, even though it's a bit harsh as these bumps confirm in race mode. And this does feel like a big car. Last car I drove around here was the Cupra Leon 300, which was lovely and agile. This feels a bit bigger, but we've got torque vectoring, so it should help us out of corners like this. 
with a bit of a kick from the back axle which we got just there. So 7-speed DSG, you're probably not surprised to hear that, but we've got 4-motion all-wheel drive. And of course it's a bit heavier than the Golf. Just been told to slow down, that's a good sign in the big car like this. It's got a high end i20 in behind me which is making me try and go a bit too fast. But on this tight corner it feels mighty as we come out, all-wheel drive power. And then belting down to this corner. Got traction control on for good reason. This is a gnarly little circuit. I think I'd probably be rather be in that i20N, but when I want to go home, this is the car I'd want. Lovely bang circuit here. And then up the hill. Whoa. I must say, you know, this is a big, heavy car and it's not designed for this kind of driving, but I'm enjoying it a lot. Whoa! Holds on well there, so you come around that corner and the camber's sort of dropping away, but no understeer. And then we've got the jump now. Whoa! Jeez! almost bad doing this to this car but it's enjoying it I'm enjoying it wow I must go and drive that i20n because I love the look of that but I think this car's just shown itself in a pretty good light now let's go and try and do the high-speed bowl where we can do legally a hundred miles an hour and that's a bit more relevant to a car like this which will probably spend most of its time on motorways. There's quite a bit of fake noise, not so many pops and bangs. I can't really hear any, it's probably not suitable for an exec car like this, but it's super refined. So in the absence of being able to go to Germany, that's the 100... Oh, this is a bit too easy. 100. Yeah, pretty quiet. So let's slow down to what you'd probably be doing on a motorway then. So that's 90, 85. Okay, so we're doing 80 now. So just need to put it in a more comfortable mode. Let's try sport, get rid of the fake sound, actually comfort. The DCC is backed off all the way, no fake sound. It's just cruising. In fact, let's go a bit faster then, so. Back to 90. Yeah, I think this is where the money goes in this car. It's a lot more refined, even with the sunroof, than a Golf. So it'd be very, very popular in its home market. Anyway guys, I've never signed a video off before at 100 miles an hour, but here we go. So thanks for watching this Volks Wizard video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please do share it, please do, do subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one very soon. Probably not at 100 miles an hour.